Uh, hey guys, Matt and Matt here. Um, we went to a Blockbuster, and um, um, that's my bag. Um, we went to Blockbuster, and it's gone out of business. So we were like, let's go to Blockbuster, because we wanted to go to FYE, but we didn't want to like walk there or take a bus there. And Blockbuster's like closer, so we were like, um, so we uh, decided to go to see how the price were going. Everything there now is two dollars. Everything used, new movies were seventy percent off their price. And Blu-rays, blue, new blue, I uh, used Blu-rays were two dollars, which is a great deal. But I don't collect Blu-rays. I don't have a Blu-ray player, or whatever. But I wound up getting a lot of stuff. Uh, Mac got a couple things. Um, and I also ordered all the horror classics like Dracula. I already have Dracula, but like Frankenstein, Invisible Man, Wolfman, I mean, all that. Fun the the collection stuff. series, right? Yeah. I gotta get a new shelf. Here, I'll show you. I think you can flip it like that, yeah. I gotta get one. I'll show you, we'll talk about later what I'm gonna do to my But before we do that, now that we have the proper surroundings for this, because Ethan, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. happy one year to her and him too. Even though Matt hasn't been here for a full year yet, he does. He should have been here for a full year. July, like, 14th. Um, yeah, we had summer school that day. I think it was our th second day of summer school, I think. Probably. Um, Let's not go back. But happy to the one days. year to us! Thank you so much for making this happen. This is you. This is you guys and our love for. This is all of our love for for movies. Intertwining together. Um, thank you guys so much for paying attention to us for that long. I honestly could. I honestly would get sick of me the first week of knowing me. Me too. I fucking hate my voice. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. This is my second DVD update in like a week. <laughs> So, and I got a new shirt, Gucci. I'm filming on my iPad, too. I'm getting the iPad, new iPad, it's not called iPad 3. I don't know why. In like I a month. Um, I got Poltergeist. This, I borrowed this movie from Ben, Big Dick Buge, you know who you are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this movie has become an instant classic to me. It's become one of my favorite movies. The little girl is so adorable, and she, like every scene she's in makes me want to cry. Especially in like shut up phone. Especially yeah. in the second one where uh, that old guy like, "Hey, little girl, let's go to my house." That uh, Poltergeist is an amazing movie. I want to get the two sequels. It's a shame what happened to the little girl in real life, though. What happened? She's dead. She died like when she was like twelve. Oh, don't um, tell me that. I had Lords of Dogtown. I dropped it. I'm gonna go get it. Oh, this is so difficult. Can't even really turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, bonus disc inside. <gasps> Whoa. Mm -hmm. Lord's Dog Town with the bonus disc inside. I had this movie, but I gave it to Ryan Garrigan. You know you are, the Regan. Um, this is one of my favorite movies. It's a great movie. It has uh, Heath Ledger, Emil Hirsch. Emil Hirsch is one of my favorite actors. It's unrated. He's been a lot of good stuff. It's the unrated cut, but it's not too bad. This movie's great. Um, oh, Jesus. I got a... Uh, all the comedy movies are pretty much for my parents because I told them I'd get them some stuff. Uh, Hall Pass. Oh, I this is pretty good. You uh, ever seen it? Nope. It's so funny. Hopefully my parents will like it, but I'll probably watch it with them. 30 Minutes or Less. Again, a comedy movie that I've, I'm kind of interested in because I like Jesse Eisenberg a lot, but um, I'll watch this one. Never saw it. I got this Powerpuff Girls DVD for my little sister. I love the Powerpuff Girls. Beat me up. I don't care. This, this show was awesome when I was younger. You used to watch it too, right? Yeah. Who has This show was the shit when we were younger. And uh, I'm so happy to pass it down to my little sister. I can, whoa, she loves what was the red one called? Blossom. Blossom. Told yeah. you. Um, the Hills Run Red. Seems I have no good. idea what this is about. I know that the guy from The Lost Boys 2, Tad Hildrenbrink, is in this movie, and people say that it's really good compared to the remakes. Hildrenbrink. I assume this is part of the uh, the Hills Have I series, especially because Babyface is in it. but um, Or Baby Skull, or whatever uh. the thing's name is. But um, got it, $2. Jennifer's Body, I love this movie. Me too. I don't care what anybody says. Is that an awesome movie? Fuck you if you... Like. I think this movie's really original. I really like this movie. She's hot as tits. Oh, this isn't the unrated one. I don't care. I have it um, on Blu-ray. This movie's awesome. I love this movie a lot. Uh, a Perfect Getaway. I have this one. So I'm going to give my copy to Rex. Crowbar 23, you know who you are. Uh, I'll mail it soon. Um, this movie's great. It's really uh, it's really uh, fresh to the uh, the newer horror. It was um, it was really good. I liked that. Especially the, uh, like, the twists and turns during the movie. It was a really good movie. 
And I know I already have Let Me In, but I gave mine to Matt. But the right one. Oh, wrong This song. is Let Me In. Uh, <laughs> this movie's song. amazing, as well as its counterpart, Let the Right One In, which is the original Swedish one. And this one. I was built there you go. This one didn't. But throw it in by Aiden. Look it up. This one didn't have cover art, but uh, it still Let the Right One In, so I'm very happy to have both of them now complete. Um. This movie, shout out to Louis Vargas, the little Brock Lesnar wannabe guy. No, I'm kidding. Brock Lesnar's his father. Uh, this movie's about like mixed martial arts and everything. And uh, it's like the Karate Kid mixed with like Fight Club mixed with like teen drama. This movie's really good. They had a sequel that came out. It's on Netflix now, so I'm going to have to watch after I watch this one again. And then I got this, which is Dinner for Schmucks. Yeah, for my parents. It's pretty um, funny. I'm not really into like these type of like uh, all star cast comedy movies because they're usually they're usually overbearing and too much. But um, I'll watch it. Hangover Two. I love this movie. I love both Hangovers. It's pretty good. They're both funny. They're both hilarious. They both are. They're both the same movie, but I don't care because they're awesomely hilarious. I have a heart with movies. Chasing Just Amy. Relax. I got to uh, complete my uh, View Askew. A View Askew universe with uh, Jane Silent Bob. This is the last movie I needed. I'm very happy I got it. And this is, says it's the Criterion Collection up top. So if this is, which it is right there, I got a Criterion Collection movie for $2. I have no idea what the Criterion Collection is, but Ethan always talks about it. Um, Fab. And then Stephen King's The Mist, which I hear is really good. I, I've read so much about it. I read the, the short story kind of, and I know the ending's pretty messed up. But, uh, yeah, so, um, that's pretty much all I got today. I'm going again, like, probably Friday, because I'm getting money from my, uh, neighbor for feeding her cat while she was away. $30. $30 to feed a neighbor's cat. Wait, one and a half more things. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. After, go ahead. after. Before that, what I just whispered to him, which you'll find out in about ten minutes, uh, I have a question for you guys, uh, and you. What move? What's one movie that you guys like, but everybody you know hates, and gets so much like shit for it, but you like it? And what's a movie that you can't stand that everybody seems to love? That's a good question, actually. I already know mine. I think I know mine. Too. I'm gonna tell you guys mine. I'm gonna go get it. You just showed it, but... Hold on, you could just see that. Uh, he just showed it, but this movie, I love. Like he said, it was original and... Fresh. Awesome and hot and... Not to sound like a weirdo, but... Um, Jennifer's Body, I really like this movie. I thought it was really great. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna put Hi, that, Brian. I'm uh, gonna uh, put that for mine as well. As, as well as Lost Boys of the Tribe. It's shit compared to the original, but it's what I expected from a sequel. And also, um, the movie that I don't really like that everybody seems to love. Uh, Sleepaway Camp, maybe? For you? No. I, not everybody that I know loves it. No. Honestly, it's not a horror movie, but probably Pulp Fiction. I'm going to give a big... Uh... A big screw. Sorry, you. Ethan. I'm but... gonna give you a big screw you to somebody. I think that uh, I think that the top two hundred and fifty on IMDb is a waste. I think that's everybody else's. It's everybody's opinion. It's not set in stone that they're the best movies ever. Uh, like I can name like twenty five movies that are better than the Shawshank Redemption, The Lost Boys, obviously. I have one more question. Yeah. And oh, what I just asked, I want you guys to leave comments and let us know what you guys think about Even a video response. Well, you yeah, video responses would be cool. Uh, what you love, uh, everybody hates, and vice versa. Also, what's a movie that you think isn't as bad as everybody says? You already said that. No, I didn't. You asked that in the question. I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm fucking. That's not. I mean it in a different way. Like, every, wait, no. Uh, just, just ignore these past twenty seconds. Just, but uh, I guess that's it. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, s expect more videos. Uh, because we've been slacking, but. I don't know, we've just been lazy, but now we can just do this. This yeah. is really easy. And with my new iPad coming, HD. And, and yeah. his laptop's working again. Yeah, it should be fun. But until then... The only reason we we were so hesitant was because we didn't have a working camera that was good. Yeah. Alright, well, see you guys later.